This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 239203-7. That's www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 239203-7. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943- 5077 or email at melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. That's M E L I S S A dot M C K I N N E Y at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski. State Title VI Coordinator by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. That's S T E F A N dot K U L A K O W S K I at D O T dot S T A T E dot F L dot U S. This information is shown on a sign at the in person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. This project runs nearly two and a half miles along State Road 50 or East Colonial Drive from east of Avalon Park Boulevard, Pilgrim Street to east of Chuliota Road or County Road 419, East River Falcons Way near Bithlow in Orange County. The purpose of this project is to increase roadway capacity and enhance safety along the corridor. The roadway is experiencing congestion and future traffic projections indicates the need to widen the road from four to six lanes to serve the community's needs. The existing lane configuration along State Road 50 provides two 12-foot wide travel lanes and a four-foot wide outside paved shoulder in each direction separated by a 19 and a half foot median. In the current condition, storm water from the roadway runs off into roadside swales. The project would widen State Road 50 within the project limits from four to six lanes. The proposed typical section includes three 11 foot wide travel lanes in each direction, separated by a 32 foot wide grassed median. There will be a 14 foot wide path in both directions. Storm water from the roadway will be captured by inlets and carried to either ponds or proposed cross drains. The proposed improvements for the Econ River bridges include relocating the barrier wall between the outside travel lane and the sidewalk to accommodate a 13 foot wide shared use path. The segment will have an eight foot wide outside shoulder, 
three 11 foot wide travel lanes and a two and a half foot wide inside shoulder on each side of the roadway. No widening to the bridges will be necessary for these improvements. A wildlife crossing will be located under the Econ River bridges. To enhance safety along the corridor, this project proposes to modify median openings according to current standards. A directional median opening will allow left turns from State Road 50 to a side street or driveway. Left turns onto State Road 50 at these locations will be restricted, so motorists will have to turn right and then make a U-turn. Improved turn lanes will be provided at median openings and U-turn locations. Reducing the number of conflict points will reduce the opportunity for crashes and their severities. Current standards for spacing median openings recommend full median openings be placed at least one half mile apart and directional median openings be at least one quarter of a mile apart. To meet these standards, the westbound only directional median opening at Sherman Street will be changed to an eastbound and westbound directional median opening. The project also proposes to convert existing open medians to directional medians at Granite Empire of Orlando, approximately 1,250 feet east of South Tanner Road, approximately 2,500 feet west of Corner School Drive, and approximately 1,280 feet west of Corner School Drive. A directional median opening will allow left turns from State Road 50 to a side street or driveway. Left turns onto State Road 50 at these locations will be restricted, so motorists will have to turn right and then make a U-turn. Here's a closer look at those medians. The westbound only directional median opening at Sherman Street and Timber Creek Pediatrics will be reconstructed to an eastbound and westbound directional median opening. The next median change is at Granite Empire of Orlando, which is just west of South Tanner Road. A directional median will be constructed just east of South Tanner Road. This median will accommodate U-turn movements. Two additional directional medians will be constructed in two locations just west of Corner School Drive near the new GROW development. These locations may be modified as the GROW development coordination continues and driveway connection permits are submitted to FDOT. Additionally, the full median opening at Corner School Drive will be converted to a signalized intersection. All turn lane lengths for this project are being designed based upon the latest traffic projection models. This new signalized intersection will provide additional pedestrian crossing opportunities as well as a potential alternate access to East River High School. Other improvements include reconstructing the existing signal at the intersection of Chuliota Road, East River Falcons Way, upgrading the Lynx bus stop locations within the project limits, coordinating the installation and maintenance of roadway lighting along the corridor, installing landscaping in select areas, reconfiguring the existing park and ride facility, and providing drainage improvements. This project is designed to enhance safety for bicycle, pedestrian, and transit users. The new 14-foot wide shared use path will be separated from travel lanes and provide a safe space for both bicycles and pedestrians. Upgraded crossings, including upgraded pedestrian curb ramps and signals, will be provided at signalized intersections along the corridor. Bus stops will also be improved to include new landing areas. FDOT is partnering with Orange County Public Schools to develop a new school access road that will help alleviate the congestion experienced along East River Falcons Way, Chuliota Road at State Road 50. This new roadway will connect the Orange County Public School Bus Depot at East River High School with State Road 50 at the Corner School Drive intersection. Orange County is providing design and construction funds for the project and the new access road will be built with the State Road 50 widening project. 
The image on the left shows the proposed access road typical section with two 12 foot wide travel lanes with curb and gutter. We are still coordinating with Orange County Public Schools on the final configuration of the access road, including pedestrian access and accommodations. The image on the right is an aerial overlay showing the proposed roadway and pond. As part of the project, Old Cheney Highway will be realigned within the area of the new school access road. The FDOT Park and Ride will connect to the new access road. We are coordinating with FDOT, Orange County, and Orange County Public Schools to discuss entry and exit options for the park and ride. The access road will require right-of-way coordination between FDOT and Orange County. This project will also require the relocation of an Orange County lift station. A pond to accommodate the access road will be constructed within the FDOT owned parcel. The new State Road 50 typical section is being designed to eliminate ponding or flooding in the travel lanes. The State Road 50 drainage improvements will utilize existing and new ponds for stormwater treatment and attenuation. New inlets and pipes will be added to accommodate additional pavement area. Due to the historic flooding within this area, the drainage is being designed using more stringent criteria, including additional storm analysis. A typical project of this nature would normally evaluate two storm events, but due to the historic flooding, we are evaluating an additional 36 storm events. The proposed water flow at discharge points will be reduced for each of these 38 storm events. No additional right-of-way will be required. This project will utilize the Orange County Regional Pond A1 to the east of the end of the project limits. Using this regional pond approach takes into account both FDOT roadway and off-site, which consists of residential and commercial drainage patterns. This approach minimizes right-of-way required for ponds. The overall area will be analyzed to ensure the designed storm discharge rates for the proposed condition are less than the existing conditions. An additional pond, known as Pond C, will be included behind the existing park and ride facility on the existing FDOT-owned right-of-way. Pond C will be directly reducing the discharge rates to the cross drain at Bob's Market Canal. Easements will be required from Orange County for the regional pond and associated outfall pipes. The State Road 50 Early Works project is a separate project that includes safety improvements that will be constructed within the near future. This project will have its own schedule still to be developed. Improvements include installation of the corner school drive signal with pedestrian signals and crosswalks. It also includes pedestrian improvements to all four legs of the Chulieta Road East River Falcons Way signalized intersection. These elements are currently in the early design stage. Our goal is for the construction of these improvements to begin in 2024. The project team is also aware of the other projects around this corridor. They include the Grow Community Development, the State Road 50 widening project from just east of Chulioda Road to State Road 520, Orange County's Chulioda Road roadway conceptual analysis, which runs on Chulioda Road from State Road 50 to Lake Pickett Road, a drainage project between Colonial Drive and Old Cheney Highway, a new Bithlow storage facility, and, as we mentioned earlier, the Early Works project. Coordination with each of these projects is continuing. Design for this project is underway and is anticipated to be complete in summer of 2024 at an estimated cost of $5.5 million. All work will be done within the existing right-of-way. However, easements from Orange County will be required for drainage ponds and outfall pipes. Construction is anticipated to begin summer 2027 and is estimated to cost $66 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. 
While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by February 23rd, 2023, 14 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 239203-7. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at derek.dean at dot.state.fl.us. That's D-E-R-E-K dot D-E-A-N at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. Or by U.S. Mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5161 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 239203-7 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by February 23rd, 2023. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 239203-7. Have a good evening.